Gretchen, here, I'll take her. My poor little pup. Thanks for watching out for her. D Duke, are you okay? Uh, mm, ooh. Ah. What's poppin' everyone? It's your boy Levi and welcome back to Scarlet Hollow. In the last episode, we came across a deer that looks like it was infested with cysts or some other mutilation. And in this episode, we're gonna hopefully continue the hunt with Stella. Let's see if we can get some more answers about what happened to that deer and what's going on inside Scarlet Hollow. As you settle down to rest, Stella breaks open a bag of assorted snacks. Take the trail mix, take a snack bar, take the dried apricots, take the sesame seeds. No thanks, I'm not really hungry. I said sesame seeds, sesame sticks. Trail mix has extra M&Ms. That's a good choice. I'm a big fan of dried apricot though. I really like dried apricot as a snack. You grab a handful of dried apricots. I actually dried these myself. I wound up getting a bunch of apricots for free from Janie a while back and didn't know what else to do with them. It's wild how easy it is to make your own dried fruit. Yep, it's very easy and it's super good too. Really? Maybe I should try it out? That's neat. Thanks, Stella. That sounds fake. Cooking is never easy. Sounds like a ton of work where you can just buy some from the store. I'd burn my house down, silently tear in. Uh, that's neat. Thanks, Stella. Anytime. And as long as you're in town, don't worry about food. I've got you covered. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's fucking go. Got us uh, a food plug now. We don't have to eat PB&Js and disgusting takeout. Why did I do that in the last episode? God, that was such a bad decision. You and Stella settle down on an overlook, snacks in hand, as the quiet sounds of evening wildlife wash over you. Gretchen gnaws a stick, distracted for the time being. Oh, look at her with her stick. So tell me, what's it like in the V realm? Do you have a house, an apartment? Do you live with family, roommates, pets? Uh, I'm alone in a computer. <laughs> Tell me what it's like to be Levi. Uh, probably the same as you, Stella, considering you're a YouTuber. I live alone in a dingy studio apartment. I live in a closet in the house with 10 roommates. I live in a doorless basement that floods whenever it rains. I live in an apartment with a difficult roommate. I live in a 12 by 12 shed in someone's yard. I live in an internet cafe. I'd rather not say, shrug and remain silent. Uh, I think the closest one of these, like I'm somewhere between a basement that floods and a studio apartment. So we'll go with the studio apartment because I do have a door, thankfully. And I love it and it's a mixed bag and I hate it. I'll leave it at that. Uh, it's a mixed bag. There's some things I like, some things I don't like. At first it was kind of nice to finally have a space that was just mine, but now it feels cramped. It's like I'm stuck in a closet alone and no one can let me out because I chose this for myself and as far as they know, I'm happy being there. The lights flicker, the toilet is constantly getting backed up because the landlady upstairs keeps flushing her cat's litter. It smells like cigarettes for some reason and it's home to an extremely durable population of roaches. Oh, that does sound great. But I guess it's home. I do what I can to spruce up the place. I got a plant. You know how they say living things are supposed to brighten up a room? I used to have a snake plant. I uh, forgot it when I moved by accident. When you put it like that, I wonder if staying up in an old mansion is a step up or a step down for you. Maybe just a step sideways. Have you tried looking for a different place or maybe finding a roommate? There's gotta be a better apartment than that big city like V-Realm. <laughs> what a big city the V-Realm is. I've thought about finding roommates. I've had enough bad roommates for a lifetime and this is cheap. I've been saving up for something better. Shrug. I am currently saving up to move. Oh, I hear you. I've been saving up for something better. Oh yeah? Her expression softened a little bit. So what do you do for a living? I build I build programmatic ads for a company nobody's ever heard of. I smell small arts and crafts on Etsy. I'm a first year associate at a big law firm. I'm a streamer, I'm a student, I'm a teacher. I'm in the service industry, I'd rather not say. Well, I guess we have to pick streamer because that's the closest to YouTuber. <laughs> I'm actually a streamer. Oh, no way, a fellow content creator. That's awesome. I knew I had a lot in common. What sort of streams do you do? I play video games, I do art, I teach people how to cook, I play music. I mostly just talk to people. I play video games. I mostly stream video games. That's cool, I'll have to check out your channel sometime this week. How do you like it? I wouldn't trade it for the world. I used to like it, but now I don't know. Remain silent. Ooh, I like the mysterious of just remaining silent, but... This is something I very much love doing. I love content creation. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Most people I meet tend to raise their eyebrow when I tell them what I do, but I love it. It might not be too much. It might not be much, but it makes me feel like I'm taking control of my own destiny. That is honestly entirely how I feel. Believe me, I can relate. I don't think I'd give up what I do for anything. 
A crisp breeze passes over you. What about you? What's your living situation? Sit in silence. We'll conversate. Gretchen and I live in a little house just outside town. It's actually the house I grew up in. Has a lot of pl has a lot of pleasant memories attached to it, and I'm glad I could keep it in the family. My great grandfather my great great grandfather built that house, and he must have done a great job because it's just sturdy as it's ever been. Oh, do you live with your parents? Do you live alone? Remain silent. Ugh, oh, both of these are tough questions. Do you live with your parents? Kind of makes it feel like I'm looking down on her. Do you live alone? Could be creepy. I'd rather her be offended that she thinks I'm like looking down on her than if uh, she thinks I'm creepy by asking if she lives alone. There's no shame to living with your parents, especially with this economy. Yeah, she'd like that. <laughs> Do you live with your parents, family home and all that? Uh, uh, no, it's just me. They aren't with us anymore. Damn it, <laughs> I fucked it. I, I didn't account for if her parents had died. Shit. Oh, did they move? That's crazy. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Oh, because they're dead? <laughs> Say nothing. I will apologize. I guess that's the street smarts, right? Like, we can pick up what she's insinuating. It's okay, you didn't know. Now I'm done by morning. You don't have to watch your tongue around me or anything. Life goes on. What were they like? I'm sorry for your loss. I can relate. My mom pri died pretty recently. She knows. I guess we're both members of the Dead Moms Club. That's like, kind of dark humor. No need to overshare is crazy and remain silent. I don't want to remain silent because I feel like that'll kill the vibe. I'm sorry for your loss. Sherry told us uh, she's okay. Uh, do I pull out the humor? We're going to pull out the humor card. Oh, that's not the reaction I was hoping for. <laughs> I guess we're both members of the Dead Moms Club now, huh? Ha, I guess we are. Okay, we, we're saved. She's mild a little bit. How are you holding up? I'm okay, hanging in there. Terrible, to be honest. I was glad to see her go. I don't feel much about it. I'd rather not talk about it. Uh, I mean, we don't know anything about her mom in this game. I don't really feel much about it. It was a long time coming, so I made my peace with it. I get that, but even so, I'm sorry. We're both too young to have to deal with this shit. Kinda sounded like a bird? Kinda sounded like... Maybe it was the deer? Oh, what was the animal? It's been so long since I recorded. What was the animal that uh, the the guy with the shotgun is out looking for? He's looking for coyotes, I think, or his chickens. I don't think either of those sounded like that. Maybe it was a chicken. Whoa. Mystical, that sound wasn't meant for human ears. Whatever lurks behind the tree line is something best left unseen, but the events of this evening were already set in motion long before you stepped foot in Scarlet Hollow. There's no turning back now. Okay, so it's preparing me. Stella immediately packs her bag and slings it over her shoulder. Mystical, there's something terrible out there, Stella. Jesus Christ, skunk appell, more deer. Please tell me that was a raccoon, say nothing. Well, she's ready to check it out, whatever it is. So despite the music and the warning I just got, I'm gonna ignore my mystical and warn her that it's something we don't want to see and we'll question it. Oh man, it's skunk ape, it's gotta be, right? Could be, could be. Whatever made that sound, I never heard anything like it. And it's close. Here, go hold Gretchen's leash for me. Let's check this out. You and Stella inch towards the tree line as she shines her flashlight into the woods. As you approach, a series of weak clucks call out from a nearby bush. Oh, it's the chicken. Oh, we're gonna get blasted with a shotgun. Um, am I recording at least? I feel like I should be recording, right? <laughs> Maybe these Duke's birds weren't eaten after all. Ooh. Did someone just pull it? What? What the hell was that? Hold on. I gotta play that back. Something. It was the chicken, but did something just pull it back? Holy shit. I'm guessing it must be maybe two, three feet tall. Doesn't look hairy either. So I think we can rule out skunk ape. But whatever it is, it has one of Duke's chickens. Oh, I didn't see what it was. It looks like it's headed north. Let's go after it. Let's go after it. Book smart. Are we going to discover a new animal? I never thought I'd get a scratch that one off my bucket list. Right behind you. I was on board the whole thing, but now we've found something. What have you gotten me into? Do, do we have to follow Stella? Oh, we don't have a choice. We have to go. All right. We're using the book smart then. Yeah, I'm pumped, but it won't. But it we won't get to discover it unless we catch it. Let's go. Uh, grammar. Stella sprints into the woods in pursuit, leaving you no choice but to run after her. Gretchen excitedly pulling you along by her leash. I feel like I should pick the dog up. Oh, you fell, bitch. You can't be fallen. 
Oof. Oh, there's the chicken. Are you okay? Oh god, the monsters got you. We're gonna die out here. Oh good, the monsters will get you first. Say nothing. Uh, we'll ask if she's okay. Are you okay? Heh, <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Just tripped on something weird. Oh no, that poor thing. It must have been one of Duke's... Oh, she tripped over the chicken. Oh, Jesus, it's still alive. Oh, you're gonna make me put it out of its misery, aren't you? I hate when games do this shit, dude. This happened in The Walking Dead when the dog that attacked you, like, gets caught on, like, a spike or something and you have to, like, put it down. I cannot let animals suffer. However, I hate, I dread having to do this IRL one day. Thankfully, I've been very lucky that I've never had to do this. I've never had a pet that I've had to put down. Very blessed in that sense. I don't know if I can handle this, dude. And this is like an animal I'm not even connected to. I couldn't imagine doing this to a pet. Investigate the chicken, don't go near that. Remain silent. We'll remain silent on this one, see what she does. You say nothing, Estella starts a closer examination of the bird. Ahem. It seems we've found one of Duke's chickens, folks, and she's not looking good. I'm hesitant to speculate, but she definitely seems to have some sort of growth under her skin. Could be a tumor, could be something else. Either way, I don't think there's much that can be done for her at this point. Jeez, I'm gonna have to put up some massive content warnings for this video. Yeah, this shit's getting demonetized. Nah, I know we're fucking around in Appalachia, but we gotta get out of here. Hey, do you hear that? What in Sam hell are you two doing out here? Didn't I tell you to... But, Birdie? Oh, maybe he'll do it, thank God. Oh, Birdie. What's wrong, darling? Good God. Do y'all see what did this to her? No, but I'm pretty sure we can hear them. I caught a glimpse of something earlier. It wasn't us. Please don't shoot me. Why should I tell you anything? We caught a glimpse of something earlier. And when we chased after it, it brought us here. Whoever did this to her, I think we can hear them in the trees. Put that camera away. For God's sake, girl. I don't want to be in another of your videos. No one needs to see me like this. No one needs to see Birdie like this. You wouldn't put her online, would you? Not when she's like this, all swollen and hurting. Duke, did you hear me? I think they're coming closer. <laughs> Come out, you sons of bitches. Oh, he picked it up. <laughs> Duke, don't shoot them. We have no idea what'll happen. You hear that, Stella? This ain't some... This ain't the sound of something peace-like. Whatever these things are, they'll pay for what they did to my girls. Alright, shooting first is never a good idea. Come on, you, whatever your name is. Grab that flashlight and help me line up a good shot. Absolutely not. Not this music. Look at Stella, she looks horrified. Also, Gretchen's ready to run, and I trust dog's instincts. As the creatures in the tree line grow louder and more numerous, Gretchen violently strains against her harness. Quick, they're closing in on us. Dive for the last light, dive for Gretchen? I'm diving for Gretchen, is this even a choice? What the fuck is that? Nah, see, I'm not fucking around with whatever this fucking shit is right here. You dive for it and scoop Gretchen into your arms just before she manages to wriggle out of her harness. Your eyes fixate on the dark tree line over Duke's shoulder. Yeah, I'm not letting her lose her dog. God damn it. Oh. Oh, that was so quick. Did it force him to shoot himself? Did he miss? It looked like the gun was angled up towards him. You hear a body hit the ground and then quiet as the chaos fades and the sound of nature creep back in. Gretchen? Levi? Dude? Are you alright? Mystical. Woe is me, a postmodern Cassandra. Yeah, I'm just glad we're not dead. I'm just a little shaken up. No. Now to my knowledge, what was me a postmodern Cassandra? A modern Cassandra is someone who like gives a warning about something and it isn't followed, I think, which I gave the warning to Duke that said someone is going to die tonight. And I think Duke is dead. Uh, we're gonna click it and hopefully I get more context, but I think that's what that means. Yeah, I warned you too. Something terrible was going to happen. What was me, a postmodern Cassandra? Ha, huh, I guess you did. You're rather upbeat about this. Gretchen whines and shakes in your arms. Gretchen, here, I'll take her. My poor little pup. Thanks for watching out for her. D Duke, are you okay? Uh, mm, ooh. Ha, an unfortunate accident. That looked more than just like a shotgun hole like that looked like a very clean hole for a shotgun oh my god oh my god duke holy shit what do we do now what the hell are we supposed to do we have to go after those things we gotta go to the police let's just forget this ever happened can we please just go home stand in stunned silence uh, we have to go after those as 
definitely a bad idea. Forgetting that this ever happens is also a very bad idea. A cab, obviously. Uh, so I guess, can we please just go home? Stella, can we please just go home? Yeah, yeah. this is a lot. We're in way over our heads. Let me just check the camera real quick. Christ, this footage is so dark and shaky. Oh, I hate to say it, but people need to know what happened here, Levi. Duke's family deserves closure. Other people deserve to know what, what's out here. Yeah, no, I definitely think like pretending like it's nothing is not the correct answer. <laughs> we need more footage? Come on, let's go after them before we lose our chance. Oh, you're not gonna let me? Lead the way, are you sure this is a good idea? Are you nuts? A man is dead, Stella. Silently follow. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? <laughs> Nope, but we're already in this deep. What's the harm in digging a little deeper? You're going to get us killed. Then maybe we shouldn't do this. A man's dead. I, yeah, you're right. Let's head back and call the police. My phone should get reception once we're back at the main road. There's only so far a bit can go, Stella. This is, uh, as much as, like, this is a content, like, farm right here, we, uh, we have to go take care of this dead body first. Oh... Those are so creepy. As you and Stella quickly make your way back through the woods, the unearthly whispers of creatures unknown once again surround you. Keep moving. You say nothing, continue forward with a grim determination. We're almost there. As you and Stella reach the main road, the whispers fade back into the sound of nature. Sounds like they've stopped following us. I should get reception now that we're back on the main road. Let me find my phone so I can call the sheriff. Did you drop it when you tripped? You feel a buzz in your pocket. Six missed calls from Tabitha, damn. And 13 text messages. Where the hell did you go? Where are you? Call her, text her that you're okay. Text her that she needs to calm down. Tabitha seems worried. Yikes, yeah, Tabitha's been blowing up my phone. I didn't think Tabitha would be so needy. Uh oh, I think I'm in trouble. It's nothing important. Tabitha seems worried. It's pretty late, isn't it? Stella pulls out her phone and dials. Hello, Earl? It's Stella Richmond. I'm up on the mountain on the as as Gina trail Duke is dead Earl shotgun it happened right in front of us there's there's something in the woods okay okay yeah yeah I think we're okay but hurry Jesus Earl who's going to tell Bo says kid I guess now we wait Look at these fucking guys the ones from the diner I think look at this hard ass it takes a little while but eventually a patrol call car arrives at the scene out of it walked two officers, Sheriff Hugby, a friendly older man, and Deputy Franklin, a serious man wearing sunglasses despite it being the middle of night. I don't fuck with either of these two. See? Right there. A thing jumps out of the woods and then the shotgun goes off. What in Sam Hill? Why, why did they both say that? <laughs> what is that? Some kind of Pillsbury Doughboy? Could've been a naked maniac? No, there's more than one. They chased us through the woods. Whatever they are, they aren't human. And they killed Duke. Uh-huh. Now we're gonna have to confiscate that camera, Miss Richmond, if you don't mind. This is evidence. But I... Okay. Let me just turn it off to save the battery. Here you go, Deputy Franklin. We appreciate your compliance with the law. We'll get a team in the morning to retrieve the body, but for now, Sheriff Hugby and I... Please call me Earl. Earl and I will escort you and... Who are you exactly? That's Levi. They came to town today for the funeral. All right, I remember now. Puked all over the diner. Fuck. <laughs> That's my only reputation. Well, let's get you both back to the town. If there's a naked maniac on the loose, it's best you don't walk back on your own. It wasn't a... Uh... Never mind. Why aren't you going out there tonight? There's a dead body in the woods. Those things out there could attack someone else. Well, it ain't exactly like old Duke is going anywhere at this point. He will be out there in the morning. He's not going to be there in the morning. We only have a skeleton crew at the moment. Monday nights are Deputy Derrickson's bowling nights. Oh my god, small town things. We'll be on alert for any more reports of naked maniacs, but retrieving Duke will just have to wait. Now, if you'll kindly step into the vehicle, we can return you safely to your home. Do we have to ride back with you? We can just walk. Those creatures left. We'll be fine. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist for your own safety. Uh... I mean, we're not being detained, I don't think, so... I feel like we don't have to. You can ride up with me, little lady. This is That is if your mama permits. Sure, Earl. You can hold Gretchen on the way back to town. The cops usher you and Stella to the back of their squad car. This feels like they took Gretchen so that they know Stella can't run, right? Because she won't leave Gretchen behind. 
I don't trust them. Here's the cutest little thing, Miss Gretchen. Yes, you are. Sheriff Hugby pats Gretchen on the head affectionately, but she remains wholly focused on Stella. A worried look stretched across her little pug face as Hugby scratches behind her ears. Stella stares out the window, oddly quiet. Remain silent. Hey, Stella, you good? Uh, talking in the police presence, I feel like is not the best idea. Remain silent. I do want to check on her at some point, though. You sit quietly, watching the trees pass by in the light of the headlights. Every now and then, you think you see a pale, anguished face staring at, at you before it slips back into the darkness. Soon, the rumble of the gravel beneath the tires gives way to uneven pavement, and the car comes to a stop in front of a small cottage. You two stay out of trouble. We'll have this sorted out in the morning. Just get a good night's sleep. And you, whatever your name was. Levi, IP freely. Fox Mulder. Remain silent. Uh, I don't talk to cops. You say nothing. Sure, you're in town for the funeral? Good. Don't you go leaving before then. I imagine we'll need to ask you a few questions about everything you've seen tonight. This guy's just waving. Maybe he's okay. Stella, keep an eye on them for us. Make sure they don't get into any more trouble. You'll have a good night now. Bye-bye, Gretchy, and you'll have a lovely evening. If any bugaboos give you trouble, you know how to get in touch. Seems like that cop's okay. I'm not letting my guard down, though. And here you are, back in town, away from the woods, with no one but Stella in sight. Holy shit. Okay, Stella, why the hell would you ask if we could walk home? That's not a crazy question. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why on earth did you want to walk home? They seem to be a little biased about everything. Keep an eye on me. Are they for real? I can't say I'm surprised. Why did I ever agree to go with you in the woods? How are you holding up? Let's check on her. How are you holding up? How am I holding up? I mean, not great, but I'm more worried about you. I can't believe they just implied you're a suspect, even after showing them all that footage. But it's okay. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. Oh, my heart. I was there. I filmed the whole thing. At the very least, it'll never hold up in court. They're going to delete it. They have your camera. And it won't get to the point either because we're going to do a little investigating of our own. We've got to find out more of the about those things. If we can get clear footage, or better yet, trap one of them, there's no way they can blame you for what happened. The library doesn't open up for a while, but I've read every book on cryptids they have and never came across anything like this. Hmm, there is someone in town who might be some useful information. My friend's mom. Her place isn't far. We should head over now before it gets any later. Let's do it. Sure, why not? Let's keep this nightmare going. I should check in on Tabitha. You can talk to your friend's mom. I'm going to bed. Screw this. I'm out. Silently follow. I should check on Tabitha. She was like blowing up her phone. I should probably check in on Tabitha. My friend's place is on the way back and stopping by shouldn't take long. You sure you don't want to stop in first? I know I wouldn't want to head up to the mountain road by myself after everything that's happened tonight. <laughs> she just wants us to hang out. Oh, fine. Let's do this. Awesome. Let's go. I hope she's still awake. Levi? Oh, who's saying my name? Jesus. You and Stella turned to see a shadowy figure staring at you from across the road. You didn't hear it approach. What the fuck is that? And why does it know my name? Welcome home. Mystical, you finally back where you belong. I belong in Scarlet Hollow? Before you can respond, the door behind you swings open. An older woman stands in the entryway. Go home, Wayne. I can't help you tonight. You look back and the figure is already gone, disappeared into the shadows of the night. Why would I take my eyes off it? I'm sorry about that, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. What brings you out so late? And who is this? I miss Forsyth. Forsyth? Foresight? This is Levi. If it's okay, if we come in. Mystical, you and Miss Forsyth briefly lock eyes. She's impenetrable and you feel a small amount and almost naked in her presence. There's something about her that's far beyond you, but you feel no threat, no malice. That's, this is my Jesus figure. We're trusting her with her life. And then the moment passes and you can only see the woman before you. Of course, of course, you're in luck. I just put out water for hibiscus tea. And for goodness sake, you can call me Sybil. Sybil? Sybil? You're an adult now, after all. Welcome to my little nook. Tia's life, aw. Aw, look at her family. Stand an interracial relationship, let's fucking go. It's about to be me and Stella right now, I'm rubbing my hands together. Oh, she's got crystals too. Oh, yeah. I fuck with this bitch. It's nice to finally meet you, Levi. I'm so worried. I'm so sorry to hear about your mother. Vivian was such a lovely soul, she's been sorely missed in the holler. And now poor Perlan, I still can't say this name. Perlane is gone as well. 
Don't let me know. Do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. Explorer, offer, offer her her boiled peanuts. Ah, uh, man. These boiled peanuts have to be for somebody. Surely they're not for Sybil. Who was outside? You knew my mom. How do you know that my mom died? I never met Perlan. We need your help. Uh, who was outside? Just a very sick man. You, knew, you don't need to worry about him. You knew my mom? Of course, dear. She was a good friend of mine for many years. Such a lovely woman. You should come by sometime. I, I can delight you with the unsavory tales of her youth. Uh, we need your help. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose pleasantries can wait for another time. What's got you here so late? You seem troubled. You know about weird stuff, right? Unexplainable stuff? I'm not so sure I follow, dear. I know which oils to use for which eggs. I know a bit about classical spiritualism. Just what sort of unexplainable things are you talking about? Duke was killed tonight by something in the woods. Oh, that expression. Oh my lord, have you contacted the police? Yes, and they didn't take it very seriously. They're not even looking for the body until tomorrow. Those things out there, I don't know how to describe them. Hmm, I can't say I know much about local wildlife. My daughter has always been a brighter gift than, for nature than I. This wasn't... This wasn't the local wildlife, Miss Forsyth. Here, I can show you. Stella pulled... Ah, I, I... You know, I should have never doubted her. Of course she would have taken out the, taken out the memory card. Smart girl. Stella pulls out a memory card from her sleeve and pops it into her phone. I wasn't just about to let the police hold on to this, at least not before we had a chance to make a copy. Smooth. The cops are going to be mad when they find out you kept that? I can't believe you're withholding evidence. No, smooth. Definitely the right choice. The cops wouldn't know what to do with that footage anyway. Imagine if they accidentally erased it. Exactly. I'll give it to them when they ask for it. But no, for now, we can examine the footage for ourselves. Where was this? Up in the mountain to the northwest. Within the town limits? Yes. I see. Is there a way to make the video bigger and louder if you can? I'd need to plug the memory card into a computer. I could go back and get mine. No need. Kanika should still be awake. She can lend us hers. You better come with me, Stella. I'm sure she'll be more willing to help a friend than her nosy mother. Kanika? Come on out. We could use a little help. What? Mom? Oh, hey, Stella. And Gretchen? Who's a good potato? <laughs> Aww. And a stranger. What are you doing in my house? Offer Kanika your boiled peanuts. Hi, I'm Levi. I was helping Stella with a video. Something terrible happened. I've been through a lot tonight. I'm not in the mood to introduce myself. None of your business. Uh, I mean, we're kind of just barging into their house. Hi, I'm Levi. It's me. Tabitha's cousin? Yep. Sweetie. We were wondering if we could borrow your laptop. Stella and her friend have a video to show us. It's really important, Kanika. Okay. My room's a mess, I'll just bring it out there. Heads up, Kanika, this is graphic. Duke got killed out in the woods tonight. It's on the recording. Wait, are you serious? Duke's dead? We can watch this without you. You don't have a harder stomach than any of our friends. I'm pressing play. <laughs> Silence watches over the room as the video plays. Stella, what the hell is this? I'm sorry either of you had to see this, but Levi and I have no idea how to make heads or tails of it. Stella, are you okay? Did you get hurt? She got a Sailor Moon shirt on? I fuck with it. We got the Crystal Spiritual Snow Buddy Mom and the anime watching nerd daughter. Love to see it. Stella, are you okay? Did you get hurt? I'm fine. Really, I'm okay. I'm fine too, thanks for asking. Well, I'm not fine. Remain silent. Uh, I wasn't asked. Poor Duke, poor Bo. Has anyone told him yet? We talked to the police. I hope they told Bo, but Earl and Deputy Franklin didn't seem to be in much of a hurry to do anything. I'll call him later tonight. But for now, we have something far more serious to discuss. Mystical, what happened in the woods? We weren't supposed to see any of that. I agree, those things are still out there, more serious than the man's death. I didn't like Duke anyways. Remain silent. Oh, if any, any time there's a time to be mystical, it's now. Whatever happened in the woods, we weren't supposed to see any of that. You're not wrong. These things, my grandmother called them ditchlings. They are a terrible omen. A sign of great suffering and destruction to come. Mom, come on. Whoever's doing this is serious. Stop scaring Stella and Levi with this Tylipo crap? Tylipo? A man just died. Have some respect. Kanika, sweetie. Will your mother talk? The creature themselves are harmless to people despite the grisly scene in the woods. How can you say that? Duke is dead. An unfortunate accident and nothing more. 
Just as birds flock before a storm, the ditchlings congregate where tragedy is soon to fall. To see one is to be cursed by fate. Jesus, Mom. They've clearly had enough rough night. They don't need this. It's okay, Kanika. This is helpful. Stella, whatever these things are, they aren't magic. We can't rule that out, though. Not after what we saw. But fine. Let's focus on what we know. Whatever they are, they're doing something to these animals. You saw the chicken in our video. What was that growth? Explorer, maybe the ditchlings were here for Duke. Book smart and mystical. It must be part of their life cycle. Maybe they feed on negative energy. Book smart, it must be a part of their life cycle. Kanika has a point, Stella. Don't buy into this not this magic nonsense. Maybe they're making more of themselves. Whatever it is, it's not good. That's crazy. I have a book smart and mystical option. I'm thinking that maybe maybe it's time to buy into this. You know, I as a person, I don't fuck around with it. I don't think it's like something that you could just play around with or a game really. And I think it's like time to like research that in the game, right? Like the whatever was outside Sybil's house here was calling out to us and said, welcome home. So maybe we kind of belong to whatever is out there. We're kind of a part of a part of whatever whatever is going on. Let's uh let's dive into it a little bit. I'm gonna complete 180 on how how I've been feeling about everything. It must be part of their life cycle. Maybe they feed on negative energy. I got achievement. Take a menu option that requires two traits. Interesting. It must be part of their life cycle. Like when a wasp lays eggs in a caterpillar, a parasitic larval stage. If these ditchlings conjugate around doomed people and places, maybe it's like the negative energy is part of the life cycle too. Like negativity feeds the embryos as well as the flesh. None of them look pleased with my answer other than Sybil. That's okay. I got Sybil. That's all I need. Um, well, that's one theory. But I don't want to jump to any conclusion that's about something this out there. Not without doing some research or talking to a biologist. I'm sure there's a rational explanation that will clear all of this up. I bet there's not. Oh dear, I forgot entirely about the tea I'd put on. Let me fix you a couple of cup. Let me fix you a couple of cups. It'll soothe your nerves. I don't know. It's getting late. I should let Levi get some rest. I ran them ragged today with all the hiking and running through the woods in terror. Oh no, we're good. I can keep going. I'm still wired. Yeah, I'm ready to pass out. It was nice meeting you though. You don't have to leave on my account. I just want to go home. Thank God this miserable night and I'm tired of this shit. Oh, I'm wired. Uh, yeah, look at this smile. Yeah, <laughs> I can stay out. I'm still wired from everything that's happened. Ha, huh, okay. Maybe it's that I'm eager to get home and start doing some research. I'll ask around on my usual forums to see if anyone has information on ditchlings. Is that what you called them? That's right. You go home now and try to get some rest. Don't stay up all night on the online. Let me get you some of my house-made peppermint tea to go. It really does wonders to soothe the soul. Bye, Stella. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And call me if you need to talk. She gives me the vibes that she's either into Stella or was passed with Stella. Thanks, Kanika. I'll see you. Bye, Levi. It's excellent iced or warm, though with the nights getting chillier, warm will probably be best. Helps wake up the bones. Be careful out there, both of you. Sybil turns and closes the door behind us. Alrighty, let's get back home. My home, I mean. And here we are. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. Did she just... Did she just invite us over? Oh, shit. Did we just get... We... And she lives alone? Does she... You know... Want to stay up and, uh... Research together? We're gonna get hit with the Netflix, Are You Still Reading? And here we are. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. I should probably head back before Tabitha has a conniption. Should probably head back and check on Tabitha. Now I think I need some alone time. Hell yeah, sleepover. Thanks, I'm terrified of being alone tonight. Thanks, I'm terrified of seeing Tabitha. <laughs> okay, we have a phone. We can just text Tabitha that we're okay. I should have clicked that option earlier to just text her. <sighs> I feel like we should go back and check on Tabitha. But if this is like my calling to like the spirits like i want to know more uh, we're gonna do it hell yeah sleepover hell yeah it's been so long since i've had an honest to god sleepover awesome if i'm being honest not being alone tonight is a way off my chest it doesn't take long for stella to fix up the guest room for you while it's certainly smaller than it's a counterpart at the estate it's far better cared for guest room make yourself at home you didn't have to do all this. What do you make of all this? Who was that guy outside of Sybil's? I should probably try calling Tabitha. All right, I'm going to hit the hay. Uh, who's that guy outside of Sybil's? 
Mystical. This wasn't mystical? Oh, I didn't even see that. I thought it said explore. Wayne? I've never really gotten to know that guy. I think he works in the mine. It might be worth looking into him. Now I know about mines in these type of games. What do you make all this? Gosh, I didn't even know where to begin. The creature's out there, and Duke is dead. I know some of those things Sybil said were a little wild, but if she is right, and they are an omen, maybe we can change things and stop whatever's brought to them before it happens. I don't know if I agree with doing that. I think you kind of let fate run its course. That has to be a more rational explanation. It couldn't hurt to poke around town. I don't know what to think. Say nothing. I'm gonna say nothing. We'll have to see what tomorrow's research turns up. Probably call Tabitha. Right, she'd probably like to know that you're not dead. Get some rest, Levi. I'll see you in the morning. You pull out your phone and call your cousin. It rings for a moment before she picks up. Where the hell have you been? Do you know anyone named Wayne? <laughs> Hang up on her! I watched a man die tonight. Hi, Tabby. I saw horrible things tonight. I want to leave. Look, I got suckered into something. It was weird. I met this girl in town. We hit it off. None of your business. Say nothing. <sighs> Tabitha and I are not close, right? Like, like she's kind of a responsible for us a little bit, but we're also an adult and can do our own thing. It is our responsibility to kind of like check in and make sure that we're okay with her. I don't think she needs to know everything about what's going on. And I think most of these answers would probably freak her out. Definitely not doing high tabby because she'll just get mad. Uh, I think the safe option is to kind of just tell her about Stella because then I can lead that into, yeah, I'm at her place tonight. Sorry, I met this girl in town and we wound up really hitting it off. We went on this night hike to find cryptids. Ah, so you met Stella then. Of course you know Stella. Uh, that explains everything. And she's gotten you all worked up. I'm going to bed. I'll collect you tomorrow. <laughs> From the comfort of Stella... Okay, I guess that worked. <laughs> and she didn't really sound like she wanted to hear about Stella, but <laughs> that was kind of the, the outcome that we were like looking for. From the comfort of Stella's guest bed, the events of the past evening seemed like something that happened to someone else, though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in these moments. For now, you're safe and you're warm. Eventually the sun will rise and chase away the monsters and make them seem like nothing bad but and make them seem like nothing but bad dreams. Maybe tomorrow, if you're lucky, you'll wake up in the normal world and have a relaxing week in the mountains with a new friend. It's a nice thought, but deep down, you can't help but worry about things that'll only get worse. From behind closed doors you can faintly hear the sounds of quiet sobs. Oh no, Stella's crying. Oh shit, is that the end of episode one too? Or is this just a transition? Oh, is this the town? It's a miner's town. Scarlet Hollow Town Hall. That's the library. We have to go visit it. Hot tea in there, it looks like. Whose room is this? Is that Stella? Is she crying? That doesn't look like Stella. Who was that? I feel like that wasn't Stella. Ominous door opening. This is probably Duke's farm. Got llamas? Or alpacas? What is that? I see that in the hole. I saw that. I saw those eyes. Oh, look at the pumpkins or the gourds. Yeah, there's the mine shaft. I'm sure at some point we're gonna have to go in there. You know, I just went into the mine shaft in The Night Is Gray, and now I'm gonna have to go into a mine shaft in a different game. And we went in a mine shaft when we played Life Is Strange: True Colors. But what is just the theme of mine shafts in video games? I also have to remember to explore... There's a lot of locks on that door. Uh, I have to remember to explore the west wing of uh, the mansion. I also apparently get behind that dark, that locked door. Scarlet Hollow. There's a lot of shit for us to do in this game. <laughs> this is the end of episode one. You can pick up the rest of the game in early access on Steam or Itch. Episodes 1 to 4 are now out. Oh, shit. Okay, we gotta catch up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed me wa uh, playing Scarlet Hollow Episode 1, the story is just now, like, starting to get in-depth, so I'm really excited about how we're gonna approach the rest of the game, being all mystical and spiritual. 
I really want to find out what happened, and I really want to, like, get involved with some of the spirits. If they are spirits. If you enjoyed this episode of Scarlet Hollow, be sure to click or tap the video in the end card to go back to the previous episode if you missed it. Or you can also click the playlist in the end card and I'll take you over to The Night is Grey. I just briefly talked about it, but it's another let's play that we have going on. Similar style game with a similar vibe about something mysterious going on.